Glow's on Common Fossil, and I want to talk for a few minutes about the Pokemon TCG Live economy, and particularly what you should be you should be spending your crystals on in order to maximize the number of credits you get. Right, we, you get both credits and crystals on the in-game rewards. Uh, the the crystals you spend in the in-game shop on these bundles and in packs, and then you spend your credits on in the deck editor to craft or purchase cards that you want for your deck. So it's with the credits are what you're really buying the individual cards with. So that's a really important part of the economy. So what you're going to want to do is take the credits you the crystals you have, sorry, the crystals, spend them in the store, buying the product that will get you the most credits per crystal spent. And there's two products to consider. One, which is the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX League Battle Deck. It's It has a high number of VMAXs, Vs, and rare cards. So once you have a full place at all these, these cards, you may have to buy a couple decks to get there, but you're going to average 3.3 crystals per credit spent. So that's a good number and gets you a good number of credits to get the decks you want. The other option, which I'm sure you've heard talked about, is the Celebrations expansion. So under the expansions, you see all the you see all of the expansions you can purchase. And we just click on Celebrations. And then if you're purchasing it, you're going to want to buy the six pack. It's the best value. You get six packs plus 350 credits for 1,120 crystals. Now, the big issue, though, it depends how big your current collection of, <clears throat> excuse me, Celebrations cards is. If you already have all of the Celebrations cards that there are, then it's this is what you should buy. You're going to average at least, I think, 3.8 uh, credits per crystal spent. It varies because there's randomness in these pack, packs. But if, you, if you're starting with... with with very few or, or, or no Celebrations cards, you're, it, you're not going to pull m get many credits. In fact, if you start with zero Celebrations cards to start with and you buy 100 packs, you're only going to average 2.0 credits per crystal. That's well below the 3.3 with the Shadow Rider deck. However, if you already own a playset of all of the standard playable cards in Celebrations, and I did that when I was prepping for live, you might have also, I don't know, it depends where you where you are with things. If you already have a full play set of cel of the playable cards in Celebration, you're going to earn a little less than the Shadow Rider deck, but not terribly less. You're going to average maybe say 2.8 credits per crystal. So that's less than the 3.3 you could get, but you're also going to pull a number of the special rare cards in it, which are an investment in the future. Because eventually, once you get full play sets of those more rare cards, then you're going to really reap the benefits of the Celebrations pack. So for someone that doesn't have many Celebrations cards, buy the Shadow Rider VMAX League Battle Deck. If you have at least, I think, a play set of all the playable cards, Celebration packs are what you should buy. And I'm going to show you an example for myself. I'm going to buy, open six, buy a six-pack of the Celebrations Booster Pack. We'll see what my conversion rate is. I'm getting between 2.8 and 3.0 credits per crystal spent usually. We'll see what I get. Uh, so all the, the the playable cards, I believe at this point, I have full play sets of those. They're all at least rares. So that's partly why it's a good value. Let's see. So this wasn't a particularly good pack because that didn't average me a lot. What happens is you get a few of these super rare cards that get you a big return. So that's where the the value of these uh, Celebrations packed is. So this is one of the rare cards that would get me a big return. I still don't have a full play set. So this Rocket Zapdos, I pulled a second one, is an investment in the future is the way I look at it. So eventually, once I get a full play set, then I'll start getting big returns from that. So let's see, hopefully, and if I get some V maxes in Vs today, that helps me in the meantime also. So I got a V, that gets me some more 250 with the flying Pikachu. So the Vs and V maxes are easier to get a, a full play set of, and you'll start getting some return for those quicker, I think. All right, so another, so my first of my uh, M Rayquaza EX, a Mega Rayquaza EX, so that will get me. See, once you get a full play set of a card such as this, I believe you get. 1,000 credits for it. So it really is a big return eventually once it gets there. 
but it takes time even for myself getting there. Some of you already have full playsets of all of them, in which case these celebrations packs are definitely the way to go. As I said, if you don't have many celebrations cards, it's not a good investment. So let's see. My, my credits earned this time hasn't been great so far because I have hold one V, I think, no V maxes, and that's where my big return is. So I probably got a bad-ish return. Let's see. I got, I'll do the math here quickly, 2, 8, 2, 5, divided by the cost, which is 1, 1, 2, 0. So only 2.5 credits per crystal spent. So a very bad return for me. It still happens. And a part of it's just the randomness of the packs, right? I didn't, I pulled one V, no V maxes. Um, I, you know, eventually when I get a full play set of the Mega Rayquaza EX and a full play set of the Rocket Zapdos, I would get a very nice return from this. So those two cards are, well, I didn't get the credits today. I said they're invested in my future. I think it's one worth making if you have a pretty good collection of these standard playable cards because that way you get a decent return to keep your economy going. So hopefully you find this useful. Uh, take care.